Are you completely satisfied with the image quality of your flat screen television or your projector? Would you like to watch the original version of the film, that is, the director's cut with natural colors and optimal sharpness? Then check the image quality of your picture display device with our reference test sequence. Professional, objective, simple and quick. The reference images from Bouroche allow for professional image adjustment and optimization of LCD and plasma television sets, as well as projectors. It doesn't matter what technology your device uses to display the image, your LCD display can use either conventional or LED backlighting. Projectors can use both DLP as well as LCD panels and even 3D enabled devices profit from the Bouroche reference images. Most devices straight from the factory deliver only lackluster performance due to pressure of cost and competition and can only deliver their full image potential after being optimized with Bouroche test images. Hello. You're probably asking yourself why the blue only test image is the optimal variant for calibrating your flat screen display or projector. A brief look into the past will be helpful here. In the days before high definition, often called HDTV, the conventional NTSC TV, that is standard definition, was the measure of all things. The adjustment of the display was done with an SMPTE designated test image. SMPTE stands for Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers. The SMPTE test image can be used to adjust the brightness, color, hue, contrast and saturation of any picture display device. Times are changing fast. You can still calibrate a monitor, a TV or your projector with the SMPTE test image. But the standards have changed drastically in the last years. And not just from technical side, also from visual side. NTSC, otherwise known as SD, has morphed into high definition, often called HD or HDTV, which is much more demanding in terms of image quality than SD or NTSC ever was. That is why it is more important than ever to calibrate a display correctly. But brightness, hue, contrast and saturation are not enough. For this reason, Bouroche Audio Video Technic has developed the blue only test image. It is far superior to the normal SMPTE test image. The blue only test image also include color bars with the colors red, green and blue, as well as the complementary colors magenta, yellow and cyan. These can be used to calibrate brightness, contrast, saturation and hue. But it is the additional reference color bars that allow you to fully optimize the color settings of your device. This is done with a blue only mode or a blue filter film. More on this later. In addition to the mentioned capabilities, you can also use the blue only test image to adjust overscan. You can check whether and how much of the picture information is being cut off of the edges by your display device. You can find the optimal setting for sharpness something that is essential for HD films. You can check how well your display shows half and full pictures. You can determine what color space your device displays. Finally, with the gray shades you can find quantization errors in your device. More on this later as well. Thus you can see that the blue only test image from Bouroche Audio Video Technic is far superior to the conventional SMPTE test image. An optimal image calibration for your HD display device can only be achieved with a blue only test image. So in this film I would like to show you how to use the blue only test image to ensure that films and programs are rendered just as they were originally filmed. It is best to display the blue only test image from a USB connection or through the HDMI port of your device. Use only the original test image from Bouroche. Intermediate storage of the data can lead to errors in the color space. This would doom all calibrations to failure from the beginning. For optimal image calibration it is essential to observe the following points. The display must be tested in a darkened room. The device should have reached its optimal operating temperature. Leave your device on for circa 10 minutes before beginning the calibration process. Make sure that the source signal works perfectly and make sure that the source is connected. 
Keep in mind that older plasma devices can suffer from burn-in. For this reason, you should conduct the image optimization as quickly as possible. We will now see how you can accomplish the following image calibrations. Color space adjustment using the test zones 601 and 709. Overscan and display format. Brightness. Contrast. Color saturation. Hue. Sharpness. Display of half pictures and progressive images. Quantization errors. The complete technical documentation for the Blue Only test image can be found at our website www.spurosch.com. The basic precondition is that the Blue Only test image is completely displayed. Only by turning on the right setting in the menu will the image be shown true to the original. The overscan mode of the device must be set so that the white triangles at the edges are completely visible. Only an undistorted display will show the image content as it is in the original. Information at the edge of the image, such as the news ticker, can be shown in full. In this way you can avoid incorrect display because of a wrong zoom setting on your television. This important calibration can only be done with a blue-only test image from Burosch. Depending on the make of your device, the same function is given different names, pixel to pixel, format or size, overscan on or off, just to name a few. Calibrating the brightness and later also the contrast is best done when you set your display device to luminance only via its menu. This should result in an image without any color information. Unfortunately, some displays or projectors do not have this mode. In this case, do the calibration in the normal color mode. Please pay attention to the dark test zone in the bottom right of the image area. In order to optimally set the brightness, turn this down to its lowest value and then slowly turn it up. Ideally, you should be able to see all the gradations of the grayscale clearly divided from one another. Pay special attention to the first few gradations, that is the darkest part of the grayscale. In the best case scenario, all gradations should be equally visible. By finding the correct setting of the brightness, you ensure that even weak dark details in the image remain visible. Other test images are also able to calibrate brightness, but only the blue only test image allows you to set the brightness with this level of precision. Next, you should set the contrast range. To do so, please turn your attention to the bright test area in the bottom left corner of the image area. Turn the contrast setting of your television all the way down and slowly turn it up again. As soon as you can distinguish all the gradations of the grayscale, the contrast is set correctly. By correctly setting the contrast range, you ensure that even the smallest image details in bright areas remain visible and don't get washed out. Here too, the blue only test image shows its advantages over the SMPTE test image in the precision of the contrast range setting. Vary the brightness and contrast settings once again until you can see as many of the grayscale steps as possible. Being able to see the darkest as well as the brightest steps is especially important for the perfect display calibration. The goal of this test is to find the optimal setting of the color saturation for a natural rendering of the image, especially the natural rendering of skin tones. A pure white image will be used as a reference for this step. This white must not have any color cast. If it does, then this must be removed first. A color cast occurs whenever the color mixture of the colors red, green and blue is not correctly balanced. For this, we turn back to the three primary colors red, green and blue. It is possible to do this calibration with a red or a green film, but the blue one is most popular. By reducing the blue spectrum, the blue only test image allows for an especially precise rendering of the smallest deviations in hue and saturation. 
If your television or projector has a blue only mode, please turn it on now. If it does not have this mode, then simply hold the necessary blue film between your eye and display device. This film comes with a blue only image. If you do not have this film, then we recommend using the film Congo Blue from Roscoe number 181 or alternatively Toyco Blue from Roscoe number 71. Both films should be used in a double layer. It is important that the blue light only be allowed through the film at a very narrow bandwidth. Color saturation is correctly adjusted when you can no longer see any difference in brightness between the color areas and the corresponding reference areas. For this purpose, the color bars are divided into two pairs. The saturation is incorrectly adjusted when you can see a considerable difference between the color bars and the areas above and below. If you cannot see any difference, then the calibration is correct. Once the saturation is correctly adjusted, we can turn to the hue. Depending on the device manufacturer, different terms are also used here. Generally, it is called hue, chroma or tone. The hue is correctly adjusted when there is no longer a difference in brightness between the color bars and the reference areas above and below the color fields. Brightness, contrast and color values are now perfectly adjusted. You can now exit the blue only mode or put the film down. A further important point for the perfect image rendering is the adjustment of the best possible sharpness. The sharpness of the image must be adjusted so that the sharpness across the entire image is neither too soft or too harsh. This can be accomplished with the crosshairs at the left of the image. The black and white lines must be clearly distinguished from the background, but not display any negative double shadows or halos. For HD television and projectors, the optimal sharpness is essential for the perfect image. After all, high definition was designed to do just that, deliver razor sharp images. If the sharpness of your display is not correctly calibrated, then you will not enjoy the full HD potential of your device. These two small light colored test areas at the edge of the image serve to test whether the image display occurs to the limited normal range of the color space or to the full range. These are the test zones 601 and 709. Colors that are represented by a display or projector are made up of various combinations of the primary colors red, green and blue. The primary colors can each assume RGB value between 0 and 255 and thereby change the colors that are to be displayed by the mixing ratio. The normal range color space only shows color mixtures that correspond to the RGB value 16 to 235 while the full range color space can display all mixtures from 0 to 255. The blue only test image is conceived for the full range RGB color space of 0 to 255. Therefore, this mode should be activated on your device to optimize the image. To determine how to change the color space of your device, please refer to your owner's manual. To determine the current setting of your device, please display the blue only test image via a USB stick if your display device has a USB input. Please turn the color control down so that your device only displays black and white. Ideally, you should only see three individual color bars on the left side, while on the right you will see a homogeneous field. If this is the case, then your display is working in the optimal RGB color space of 0 to 255. Should however a homogeneous field appear on both sides, then your display is working in the limited color space of 16 to 235. In the second to last chapter we will check that the electronics of your television or projector are delivering the correct progressive image processing. 
Look at the two test fields on the left side, each with a horizontal line just one pixel wide. If you can only see a large white and a large black field, then the blue only test image is being displayed as an interlaced image in interlaced scanning. What that means is that only one of the two half pictures is being rendered and thus the diagonal lines are being incorrectly displayed as steps. In progressive scanning the black and white lines in these two test fields can be seen separately from one another. Progressive rendering should be the goal and always delivers the better image. For the final step in the calibration, please look at the gray scale in the middle of the image. This is used to find the optimal brightness and contrast settings, as well as to check to possible quantization errors in the signal processing. Ideally, the gray scale should be displayed a balanced transition from the darkest black to the brightest white. In the top image you can see that the gray scale no longer shows any transition in the dark and the bright areas. In the middle image, strong quantization errors can be seen. There is no more transition, but steps. The bottom grayscale in contrast shows an optimal transition completely free of quantization errors. Your display is now optimally calibrated. You can now rest assured that in the future you will enjoy films on your television or projector just as they were originally filmed. You can see that the blue only test image is much more highly developed than the SMPTE test image. Especially for high definition, it is essential that the image is optimally calibrated. Otherwise, the best and most expensive HD television or projector is of no use. The company Burosch and I wish you the greatest film viewing enjoyment.